Hey folks, welcome to Project Zomboid. My name is Drunk on Life, but you can call me Drunk for short. And Happy New Year, you guys. It's 2019. And uh, yeah, you know, I know the New Year's about a week removed, but this is my first video uh, of the New Year. And we're going to start off with a bang. Hopefully not too big of a bang, but we're going to try. Um, survival, the recommended zombie experience. Huge hordes, high stakes, and death at every turn. How long can you survive? Well, I'm not sure. We were actually... You know, I have another another series that I was running and a story, but I decided, you know, it's 2019. Out with the old, in with the new. We're going to do something new. Uh, West Point, Kentucky is going to be the map, and it's going to be a little bit more challenging than a typical map because uh, because we're using Super Survivors. We're going to have Woodbury, which means that there's going to be a lot of uh, people shooting at us and people wanting to kill us, so it should be interesting. All right, let's see what we're going to do. Johnny Ramirez. Johnny Here's Johnny. Yep, sounds good to me. We're gonna make Johnny black. Haven't haven't played a black fella at all, so might as well. Dark hair, yes. Do a vest, which remarkably looks almost like a uh, a wife beater. <laughs> black pants, full beard. He's ready to go. Occupations and traits. Now I had a viewer that mentioned that it would be fun to watch somebody do a playthrough with just Lucky. Lucky is the only trait, only positive trait. Well, I'm going to do all negative traits. I think I'm going to do unlucky. That's a one up on you. And overweight. So Johnny here is going to be overweight and unlucky. Unemployed? Ah. Maybe I'll give him a repairman. Repairman is, I've never played it, and it has some great maintenance stuff. So anyway. Anyway, let's go. Giddy up. Now, I have turned raiders off on this uh, playthrough partially because they wreck me and they usually wreck me at the most inopportune times usually like 15 or 16 days in i just can't beat them so you know that's it's no fun it's no fun but there will be hostiles the governor is a hostile there are pe people shooting at me it, super survivors makes it really interesting in the beginning because there are a lot of people shooting guns and creating general chaos um i've also turned off the infinite ammo feature so that when the bullets are gone they're gone and turned off water and food as necessities for any survivors. They are pigs, y'all, and I cannot manage them. Other mods I'm using are Hydrocraft and the RG mod as well. And finally, Craft Helper, which is very handy if you're using Hydrocraft. Ah, Hellfire. And I, I have spawned right into, uh, into Woodbury. Okay. Well, this isn't good. Now, I, I do know how to... See this Woodbury guard right here? They go in like a pattern. And I should be able to get through here. Alright, I got through. I got through. With just the nary, barely the clothes on my back here. But we're through, so that's good. There's a key. All right. Um, what what am I gonna do here? So this is what I was talking about with the super survivors. There's a lot of chaos. They bring in a lot of uh, a lot of um. I don't know what you would call it. It would be like a uh, chance type stuff. Like where, you, you know, you, you don't have a lot. You, you may or may not have time to like loot. I'm out of there. I somehow managed to get, a, get out of Woodbury alive. All right, there's train tracks here. I'm not real familiar with West Point, so I don't know what I'm looking for. I do know is that there are an ass ton of these guys. Okay, maybe I can come this way. Figure something out. Jeez Louise, there's a lot of them. Yeah, so we're just going to follow this fence. And come out someplace. 
the important part is, is that we are alive still and we managed to uh, not get like wrecked, especially considering where they put us. All right, so I'm going to use, I'm going to find some survivors here if I'm lucky. And, uh, oh, look, I'm at Twiggies. All right, so I kind of have an idea of where I'm at. Hopefully find some weapons. There's a key over there. Guns and ammo. Anything in here? There's not. Gas can. Right. Well, that's a good start. Because I have a key over here. And possibly... Get out pretty quick. Up. Oh. And grab that. Grab this key as well. Dash Elite. Okay. If there's any gas in this Dash Elite. No gas. But I have a gas can, so that's a good start. Go ahead and add it up. I didn't check the uh, the battery, so I'm making a lot of suppositions here. All right. Come here, you. And you go. No gas can and no uh, alarm. The lock is broken. Huh. First time I've ever seen that. So we're going to go ahead and come in here. Nothing in there. Oh, the shop owner. Huh. Wasn't that cool? Well, I, I don't want to steal from them. I'll let let them go because if I if I do try to take something from them, the chances of them wrecking me is very high. I'll leave it up there. But I will drive. So the idea is to get not too far out of town. But far enough There we go To get far enough to where I can actually uh, Away from all the, uh, the 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 gunfire and whatnot And the alarms. <laughs> Just get far enough away where I can uh, maybe get a base going and then uh, come back into town. Oh, well. I was going to try to help John. Maybe I still will. No. I don't have any... I don't have a weapon. Sorry, John. Is 
they're all migrating towards Woodbury. It's going over here. Check these real quick. See if I can find. Go, come on. Push down. Here we go. Right, baseball bat. Nice. Right, what else do I have here? Metal pipe. And that could be a weapon too, I think. Glue will take. Oh, small metal sheet. Oh, look at that. We found a, uh, need that as well. We found us a uh, generator as well. Nice find. All right, that's too many. Get out of here. Go a little bit further down the road. All right, so this is school. Another key. no gas in it but I have I have another one we'll see what, what's in the back here car battery charger fine I'll let these guys ones that see me see me and see what we can find here Yeah, so the idea is is going to be to find a uh, a safe house and uh, get books and a couple survivors, kind of go from there. Yeah, this is open. Nope. Of course, it's not going to be open. Maybe it'll be open from the front. Where is the front? There it is. Okay, cool. There's a teacher. I'm gonna open this door up for her as well. All right, we got we we've got a couple people. Let's see, uh, Lewis, invite him to the group. Whatever you want to go, okay. And the teacher, we'll call her over too. Invite her. Sounds good. Okay, cool. We have a couple teachers. We have a couple uh, people in our group now. 
Now we just need to find uh You know what? I need to find the cafeteria first. I think the cafeteria is down here. It's like the gym. It. All right. Drink. Chips. Probably don't need them, but I'm going to take them anyway. Cool. Water bottle. All right, so we it's been a it's an okay start so far. Not terrible. It could have been a lot worse. Considering where we spawned in at. Now let's find a backpack. Climbing pack. Uh, you know what? Where's Lewis? Does Lewis have anything? I don't think he does. Okay, here, we're going to give Lewis an aluminum bat. I'm going to them both hands. Pull him over. And give a melee weapon to him. Right, there's somebody else over here, too. Take the rucksack. Box cutter. Ooh, scissors. Scissors are good in the aspect that when you when you can finally find uh, the tailoring book, you can actually tear apart your uh, your stuff. Do I want to? We're gonna take these guys out first. Right, come on. Should make quick work of these guys. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. More man, we are finding all sorts of stuff. Another aluminum bat, football helmet. Be okay with any of those. Are there any, uh, yeah, there are more over here. Doomsday prepper. Sounds like it'd be such a cool, like, thing, but it's really not. Medium ass house pack, okay. Not on our back unless we find something else. Lots of box cutters. What are they doing? What are these kids doing with box cutters? Yeah, nothing in there. Go upstairs. Nothing, nothing. Cool bags. I'll eventually be able to use those, but right now, I'm just trying to find the best backpack I can possibly find. And yeah, nothing in there. Where do I hear them? They're banging. Should be able to find all my books too. And read this uh, auto manual, intermediate. Okay. Did 
Okay, nothing in there. Like the teacher's in lounge, I guess. Yeah, it is. Yeah, what was that sound? I hear the sound too, John. Hammer canteen. There's another teacher. I know. Okay. So there, there we go. We got a, uh, <laughs> all the teachers. Follow me, please. Let's go. Jonathan. Uh, let's see if he wants to come too. Fine. Wow. We have a, uh, we have a decent group. Who would have thought that? See if we can find a, a repair manual and read that. Herbalism textbook will read that. Herbalist will read that. Looking for beginners, I'm going to take that. Electricity. Do I have electricity? I do. Don't need that. I don't Mechanics for beginners. Herbal remedies, yes. Uh, ta and tailoring, that's what I was talking about. Mechanics for beginners, I do. I do need carpentry as well. Date for beginners. Nice. All right, well, I think I'm gonna stop here. My name's Drunk. I'm live. You can call me Drunk for short. And yeah, we have we we have stormed into 2019 with a pretty awesome start uh if you haven't subscribed to my channel you should i do try to do project zombo videos three days a week month three days a week monday wednesday friday um yeah anyway uh and i'll talk to you guys later hope you enjoyed it and thanks for hanging out with me y'all talk to y'all later happy new year's